Today, we are going to work on putting together all the pieces for our desert cactus flower. I'm going to start by tracing the shapes that I will need. I will need one circle. It does not matter which color you trace it out of. I am going to trace it onto the yellow paper. Whichever color you choose to chase, trace the one circle, you will then be tracing five flower petals. Each color needs five flower petals. So I'm now going to trace five flower petals. In order to get five flower petals out of the paper, you need to put your petals together as close as possible. We are tracing onto the back of our paper. This way our pencil lines do not show up in our final work of art. Once you have traced five in a circle onto the yellow, trace another five onto the orange. Use your scissors and very carefully cut out all of your pieces. Make sure you keep all of your pieces together in a pile so they do not get mixed up with your neighbor's pieces. Make sure all of your trash gets placed in the recycling bin. Set your pieces to the side and make sure they do not get mixed up with your neighbors. Continue to carefully cut out your pieces. Make sure you have counted your pieces before you start cutting to make sure you have enough pieces for making your flower. Take your time and cut very carefully. Watch out for your fingers. And I'm gonna continue working until I have all of my pieces cut out. I'm going to start with the circle. I'm going to assemble my flower upside down. I'm going to sort my yellow and my orange and I'm going to start with the yellow. I'm going to put the glue on the front of the flower petal at the bottom. The glue is going to go on the paint side. Then I'm going to turn it upside down and place it on top of the edge of the circle. It should stick onto the circle just a little bit. The edge of the flower petal should not go in the middle of the back of the circle, but just a little bit onto the edge. I'm going to do one side and then the opposite side. Because there are five flower petals, it's going to look more like a star. I am now going to put one flower petal in between those two pieces. And then on the other side, I'm going to squeeze in both flower petals that I have left. These two will be a little bit closer together than the others, but that is okay. Put the glue at the bottom of the flower petal, flip it over, and place it onto the circle. I am now going to put the orange flower petals in between the yellow flower petals. Put a little bit of glue at the bottom of the petal, and it's going to go in between the yellow petals. Make sure you press and hold the glue for just a few seconds to make sure it sticks. Go on to the next flower petal. Apply the glue and then place it in between two of the yellow flower petals. This way we have a pattern when it's all finished of yellow, orange, yellow, orange. The flower petals should also not touch the center of the circle. They should be towards the outside of the circle. I have one more flower petal to glue down. Make sure you turn it over, put the glue on the side with the paint, and then flip it upside down. And place it between the two yellow flower petals. I have an extra one. I accidentally made an extra flower petal. If you have an extra flower petal, that's okay. You don't need to put it onto the flower. We'll just maybe save it for someone else to use. So I'm gonna set that to the side. See, it's not really gonna look right if I try to squeeze it in there because it doesn't really go with my pattern. So instead, I'm just gonna either throw it away or give it to somebody else to use who maybe didn't have enough flower petals. I'm now gonna make sure my glue is stuck and I'm gonna take my tissue paper and I'm gonna crinkle it up and this is going to be the center of our flower. It's gonna give our flower just a little bit of texture in the center. Apply some glue to the middle of your flower and press your tissue paper into the center. Kind of bunch it together so it looks nice and neat. That looks good. Then I'm gonna take my flower petal and glue it onto my cactus painting. Now, I have to decide where I wanna place it on my picture. Think about where you wanna put it 
whatever you glue it on top of, we're not gonna see. So maybe don't glue it on top of your favorite part of the picture. Put the glue only in the middle of the flower. Only put the glue in the middle. Once you have put the flower onto your picture, press it down firmly with your hands, count to 30, make sure that it is stuck to your paper. The last step is to pinch and fold just the ends of the flower petals. Doing this will make the flower look more three-dimensional. It'll help create it, help it pop up off of your picture and create more of a sculptural effect to the flower. Just pinch the ends of it, pinch it, increase it, fold it. You might have to do it a couple times as you're doing this hold to the center of the flower because your glue is still wet and it could come up off of your paper. So make sure you're holding the center of it as you're doing this if it tends to move around on you. Don't forget to do the yellow and the orange flower petals. By folding them just on the ends, not the whole flower petal, again, it helps to create a three-dimensional look to our artwork. Fold just the tips. You can even just go ahead and crease it, and put a fold line in it if you would like to. That looks good. The sharper you make your fold, the more it will stay in place and pop up. If you do a short fold, it'll be closer to the paper. The longer you make your fold, the more it will stand up off of the edge of your paper. That looks pretty good. Let me check, make sure I didn't miss anything. I'm gonna clean up all my materials, put all my stuff away, and I'm done with my desert cactus flower.